Hi, I'm Charles Ellison, Civil 3D designer and trainer at AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com. Today we'll be looking at part one of managing points with description keys in Civil 3D 2020. Description keys are used when importing field data from our survey crew to set the look and format of our points. Once description keys are applied, points are automatically put on specific layers and organized into point groups. We can manage the look of our points in another way with description keys. When we open up our point description keys drawing, we're able to see what description keys are and how to manage how points look. Within this drawing, there are point description keys in this file. And you can see that we have four points that are already here. The two points we've been working with such as the fire hydrants. We've got two of those. A 24 inch oak tree and a utility pole. These descriptions are what the surveyor captured out in the field. In other words, when he went out to the site, he shot the point and entered a description for it such as power pole. When he shot the tree, he entered oak 24 in his data collector. We'll now use those raw descriptions that the field crew collected in the field and apply a style and put them on specific layers. The surveyor might have included additional information in the descriptions that we can also control. By having our information coded out in the field, it makes description keys more powerful than point groups to control how our points look. Point description keys are considered a style. It's a collection of keys in a drawing. If I look at our settings tab and I expand the point category, you'll see there's a folder called description key sets. Go ahead and expand that. Notice we have another square with a little dot on the inside of it, which again means that there's a collection. There is a list of point description keys that will be stylized when we apply this description key set. Right click on the description key set and choose edit keys. You'll see how our panorama palette shows up again and we have two rows or two keys within our description key set. Now FH is the code for the first row which means that the drawing will look for all the points that have FH in the description. We can use asterisks or wildcards like we used in the past for our point groups. I'm going to leave that out for this demonstration but know that they can be used in our code column. Now when the drawing finds a point that matches the code of this row, it's going to go through and anything that's checked or entered here is going to apply to the point that's found. I'm going to change these two fire hydrant points. I don't like how we just have an X for these two points. I want to change the point style for these two. Rather than the X, I want it to be shown as a fire hydrant. So the way that I go about doing that is I go into the FH and change the style. And I want it to be on the hydrant style. Click that point style right here. Click OK. Next, I want to change the point label style. Rather than having all of this information right here, I just want it to be just the description, which currently is FH. But I'd like to change that description to format it as XFH, which you can retype it right here. And all of this will be put on this specific layer. Click OK. Then after we've done all of that, we go into our prospector. We expand the point groups and over all points, right click and click Apply Description Keys. And there you have it. We have everything formatted the way that we want. And we also changed 
the look of our oak tree right here. And if you see, we've got a little bit of a block size issue with our tree, but we can change that at another time. Now notice that we currently do not have a description key set for our power pole. Let's zoom out and you'll see that nothing has changed for our power pole. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.